So yes, hello, we're back. I found the chainsaw in the back room for you people. Right after we left, actually. <laughs> so last That's time. That's how it always works, once yeah, you know that. Exactly. Um, so show that thing off. Yes, yeah, so this is the PlayStation 2 uh, chainsaw. This is the red one. I believe the GameCube is yellow. And this is number... What the fuck's the number? There's a plate on there. Yeah. Uh, 11,510 out of 50,000 of these were made. So you got your uh, triggers down here. Obviously this part's a little broken, but you can super glue this thing and it's fine. Uh, you got the sticks. Uh, D-pad control is the start. You got you have your start and select, but you also have the cool yeah, way to start it. Yeah, you can pull that. You can rev it up to start if you want to be cool. Like, yeah, start it. And uh, you got L2 here. Uh, you got your R2 back here, but you don't even need to use them really. That's why. How could anybody use that for any game? I mean, it's pretty easy for this game. Really? Because <laughs> you can aim with this, and then you shoot with this, and then you could just run like with square and the analog. Well, maybe you should live stream that one time when you're here and see how you can get it. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I think it's just meant for RE4 because it's set up so like you can use the trigger buttons because these you can't use you know, for anything else because some games do require you to press them and you can't just play like that. So, but the grip's real nice. The analogs feel nice and small. It's like a it's actually smaller than the PlayStation 2 regular analog sticks, um, which is kind of cool. And I, I honestly like the red and the blood over the yellow. The yellow one's more traditional. Like the, I didn't even know they had one for GameCube. Yeah, they did. Because I've never seen it all the time. That one's yellow because the, the Ganado in the game has the yellow chainsaw. Uh, this one's red, so it's cool. Now let me tell you people how I found this chainsaw. Back in 2008 or 2009, I went to GameStop, and behind the counter they had a huge box, and it said Field Destroy, which is stuff they throw away. It's filled with N64 games. I know you retro people are going to get fucking mad now, but uh, it was filled with N64 games. So I told my buddy Ryan, I was like, hey, we should come back later tonight and see if they throw that shit out. I went back later, and this was before Dumpster Diamond was all over YouTube, and now people are doing that shit every day. But I went back there to see if, that, if those games were back there, and they weren't, but I found a bunch of shit back there, and that was in the trash can. That chainsaw was in the trash can. Yeah, this was in the dumpster. Okay, and I know you Resident Evil fans are going to be like, oh, how dare they throw that shit out. But no, even the... Uh, this is before they started cutting cords and shit and breaking them on purpose. Um, it actually did come with the, uh, it turned it upside down. It came with the extension cord that plugs into there. I have That's it. That's cool. I just, it, I don't know where the hell it is. It's probably in my wire box somewhere. But you can plug any extension cord into that thing and just plug it straight into the PlayStation 2 and you're all set. So it's not even a hassle. You can just order another one of those extension cords or whatever. But, yeah, I mean, that's the story. I mean, they, they threw that out. And it's collectible. Yeah, even though the handle is broken, like, I could just super glue that. That's not a big deal. That's the way that it was in the trash, so. Yeah, they probably just tossed it in and then fucking yeah. care, like. And I know that usually comes in a case, but that case was not in the trash either, so I don't know what happened. Well, at least you have it. It's a cool little thing. Yeah, it's a nice little thing. And I guess that's going to wrap up this video. Because there's not much more to talk about. But that's Perry's complete Resident Evil collection, which is still back here. Yeah, two weeks later, I <laughs> still have to put later. it back. So. I'm afraid to put it back now. I think I should keep it all together. So if we do an update... <laughs> when Resident Evil 17 comes out... The years to come. The who? I said with the years to come, with like yeah. more Resident Evil items and stuff. With Resident Evil 2 remake and shit. So... I should just make a Resident Evil bin and put all that shit in there. You have this enough stuff. Lose it. What? You have enough stuff, so. Yeah. Oh, well. Well, that's it. That's it. We're done. It's over. And we'll see you guys next week on the podcast. And see if you're it. on Anthony's channel, go to the Game Complainers on YouTube. <laughs> like and if you're on enough. Game Complainers, go to Resident Evil 9888 on YouTube. It's Anthony's channel. 
where you're going to be watching this video on both those channels. Yep. So, Aunt, pose with your chainsaw. <laughs> For the thumbnail, and that's it.